safety. Buckle up, buckle up for safety. Always buckle up. Pull your seat belt snug. Give an extra tuck. Gary? Gary? Yeah. Oh, hey, I want to tell you about our party again. You spoke to me once before on a Saturday when uh, Shovel's on vacation. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Show the world you can. What'd I do? Hi, uh, Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, let's all talk at once. Yes. And uh, I, want to, I want to commend the paramedics. Although they didn't come to our party this weekend, we have had them here before, and they've always done a wonderful job for us. <laughs> That's good, Spicoli. We actually hire paramedics. No, we don't hire them. They just come late at night. It was Listen, so cool. You. It was so cool. My heart stopped, and then no. they got me on my feet again, and I was able to, like, work the stereo. No, we had a girl. Uh, she thought she had gas. It ended up to be ulcers, but it was one of those things, you know, she's white, she's sweating, uh, she's ice cold, nice as hey. Yes. I talked to my brothers. I go, and you thought it was Gas? Right, she did. I said, no, it's not. It's and then I, serious. I took her pulse. I took a Bic lighter by her stretch pants. No. She, just went on the bed. no, she had her pants off. She was on the bed. She had her pants off. No, she pulls them down. Okay? Dorothy, she goes, can you oh, believe this? Oh, my this? God. Let me tell you, though. <laughs> These guys, uh, she had ulcers. She had them for years. We didn't know. Yeah, well, she how, that party. Sure, yeah. So uh, when when was uh, okay, just Jody to... Foster over at your house? No, no, listen. We had a big party this weekend again. Yeah. Three bands. Three she had bags. her pants off. Tape. She had gas. I knew it was gas. No. Just because I held up a big lighter and I said, okay, push. Well, we've got to go do traffic. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. i got to tell you guys. I got a tape for you, Kev. What tape? Uh, her no, releasing gas? You, you wanted one. You wanted us to write a couple jingles. We videotaped. Oh, good. Hey, this was three bands, a fire. We had tags. We had uh, endless beer. And, you know, I, I told you we write those primal tunes. And we, we write that fire at the end of the last band. Yeah. I'm telling you, people go nuts, okay? Right, it was beautiful. We wept. Well, send me the tape. 875 North Michigan Avenue, yeah, Chicago. I know it. I know it. Well, where's the tape, you people? I, we just made it this weekend. Well, said that. We just made it this weekend. Listen, I already drank a bottle of champagne waiting on the phone. I'm eating chili right now, too, for lunch. All right. You got a big lighter? Uh, You'll need it in about six hours. Send me the tape. How are you, Dorothy? Good, Eddie. How are you? Oh, fine, kiddo. That's good. How's the diet going? Good. Real good. Yes. I'll go in. I want to do that triathlon someday. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty rough. You know, I had to come downtown. I had to uh, drop a friend off downtown. And I was wondering, where are all these cars coming from? Lakeshore was all backed up. I know. It, it causes lots of problems every I know, year. I know. I know. I want to find that woman that was naked running. Well, maybe she'll call you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Shemp, call Andre. I want to uh, talk to... And, Shemp, is there anybody from Channel 7 that we could get a janitor... Please. Come into the office at noon. No. Well, then, it's you call them. I've been calling like every Call them minutes. now. Now. God. Talk to anybody. I'm starting to get nervous. Going to be on Win, Lose, or Draw Saturday. Oh, yeah, you know. It's so exciting. Oh, yeah. So we uh, we tape it Saturday. When does it air? No, I don't know. They'll probably take a look at it. So, well, let's run... Uh, Reruners. I, I I don't know. I guess down the road. Well, that's good. Speaking of down the road. God, that was great. That was a, <laughs> such a good. Did you hear that, Eddie? That was a good setup. That was a good setup. Spike does that a lot. <laughs> right. On the southbound Tri-State Tollway on the Mile Long Bridge, there's an accident with an overturned truck and it's blocking lanes. Traffic is filling in very quickly from the Stevenson to the accident. We scene. just we had that information just a little while ago, kiddo. Yeah. Yes, if you have traffic, if you want to report it, if you want to help those who need help, Dorothy, what is the number if you have a cellular one phone? Star 1000. Spar? Star. Oh. Star 1000. Northbound, the Tri-State jam from Western to the 163rd Street Toll Plaza. Then there's a Gapers delay approaching the Mile Long Bridge. Inbound on the Edens is slow. Tui to Peterson, there's midday construction. Outbound is slow at Peterson because of road work. Kennedy inbound tightens up around the Ryan. Inbound on the Ike is slow from the Tri-State to Mannheim due to an earlier accident. Outbound has a Gapers delay from 25th to Mannheim. Outbound I-57, solid approaching Halstead. The two left lanes are closed for construction. And it's on the brakes again, 100. 
119th to 127th, where the left lane is closed. The outbound side of the Ryan slow out to 18th. Inbound is on the brakes 33rd to 16th. In Lansing, for the next two weeks, Thornton-Lansing Road is closed to through traffic between Torrance and Stony Island for railroad crossing repairs. Use 186th Street as an alternate. This afternoon, partly sunny, a 30% chance of rain later on, a high of 84. Tonight, mostly cloudy with showers likely, a low of 67. Tomorrow, cloudy, warm, humid, a chance of more rain, a high of 85. 81 at O'Hare, 79 at Midway, 74 at The Loop. For shadow traffic, I'm Dorothy Humphrey on AM1000, brought to you by True Value Hardware Store. If you, uh, Dorothy, stick around, okay? Okay. You can be my secretary. Fun. Get ready to take a memo. <laughs> Inner office memos. If you have any, like, secret information you want to fax us, we won't uh, give out names. 440, what's the number, Shemp? I always forget that number. 3701. 3701. 440-3701. Ready to uh, take a letter? I sure am. No. Oh, this one's on uh, drinking on uh, company time. <laughs> Notice. Alcohol and company property. Take this down. Current situation involving employees drinking alcoholic beverages in the parking lot has become a serious safety problem for all employees. You got that? Yeah. This situation has got so far out of hand that drastic steps are necessary. Got that? Yes, sir. Therefore, effective immediately, the following actions are to be taken. Any employee bringing into having in their possession or consuming alcoholic beverages on company property at any time will be subject to immediate discharge to include first-time offense. You got that. Got it. Security guards and supervisors have been instructed to call the police department in the event of any group of employees is observed consuming alcoholic beverages in the parking lot. Got that? Got it. Such persons will be removed from the company property and will be subject to immediately, put immediate underline, discharge. Alcoholic beverages have no play in and round boundary. Drinking in a parking lot leads to, leads to safety problems in this plan. Thank you. You're welcome. Get out of here. Get out of here. Maybe Bunny and Bernie today. Uh-oh, I'm oh, ready. Yes. So if you want to fax us any memos, we appreciate that. Any kind of like top secret stuff. Dear John Letters, uh, if you've been fired, send us that stuff. We love it, don't we, Dorothy? Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. Gonna, uh, bye, Dorothy. Bye. We'll uh, talk to Andre, maybe. Next. I doubt it.